So this is a question right now in front of you. This is a question of combination of shear force bending moment as well as deflection. Of course, this is a question of strength of material and the same question already asked in gate previous year. That's why I'm sharing with you. Alright, so how to solve this type of problem in the examination? That is important because this is the link question and the same question already asked for 4 marks, 2 to marks each. And maybe you are aware about this that uh, in gate, if link question asked most of the time, when uh, according to my analysis, I have seen they have asked question, two questions, four marks, right? So it matters, of course, it matters now. Yeah, let's go for the question. So, what they have said in this question that a steel beam of breadth is this much and height is this. So, first draw this. Why I'm drawing this, I will share with you, okay. So what they said, this is 120 and this is 750. You need, you need to check that is in given in millimeter. All right. Now, what we have to find out? Well, from this after, I mean, after looking at the beam, we can say that this is a simple supported beam, simply supported beam with what UDL uniformly distributed load that is 120 kilonewton per meter, and total length of the beam is 15 meter. Okay, that is clear. Now, beam is subjected to a maximum bending moment, so we have to find out where we can get maximum bending moment. So, if you have solved few problems, then probably you realize in case of, in case of, uh, you know, in case of this condition, we will get maximum bending moment at the center. Okay. So, for finding out bending moment in this case, we are having shortcut trick or we can apply the traditional method, which method we usually use for solving university examination problem. Okay, that is find out shear force bending moment and where we are getting, you know, it is reverse, right? So then we can find out it's a, you know, it's a bending moment. So it's like that only. All right. So whenever we are getting geo shear force, that means there we got maximum bending moment. This is a, this is a simple, uh, you know, simple relation. We have gone through this and uh, probably you have also come to know about it that if you are talking about this, if you're talking about, uh, you know, uh, uh, talking about the shear force and bending moment, then whenever shear force is zero, then we get maximum bending moment. Okay. So in this case, what would be the maximum bending moment we have to find out? For this, we are having formula maximum bending moment. Okay. Bending moment is equal to W L to the power square by eight. So what is W? You can make mistake here. W is what here? 120 kilonewton per meter. Don't multiply with meter because this W itself is what is newton per meter. Its unit is newton per meter. How? Let me share with you. We know that W is what newton per meter and length meter is square. So this and this cancel. What would be remaining? Newton meter. Now we know the unit of bending moment is Newton meter. That means W is in Newton meter. But, but it is given in kilo. That's why it is in kilo Newton meter. All right. So here, what is the value of W? That is 120, 10 to the power 3. L is 15, 15 square, division 8. Okay. Now we have to use calculator for finding out 120, 10 to the power cube, multiple 15 square division 8 yeah so as you can see the unit given in the numerical problem in kilo so therefore we can divide the answer by 10 to the power 3 that's how we can get the answer in kilo newton uh, uh, sorry kilo newton meter now now look at the options we have given and answer we got is 3375 right now options options given we have multiple options right so as you can see, option B is the right answer for this question. Okay, so 
this is it now let's go for the next one what is the maximum deflection for this beam again we are having a shortcut formula and by using that formula we can find out maximum deflection of a beam and any beam we are having you know handy formulas you can get from anywhere right i will try to share with you in my upcoming videos that maximum how to find out maximum deflection for different type of beams that would be handy for you all right so in this case i mean in this case what is the meaning of in this case that simply supported with uniformly distributed load for finding out deflection is 5 w l to the power 4 384 e i okay so this is the formula now we have to know what is i W we know, E we know, U we have given that is 200 gigapascal. But what is I? I means moment of inertia. That's why I have drawn this rectangle. Without this drawing, this rectangle, you cannot find out moment of inertia properly because its formula is 1 by 12 B D Q. So here B is 120 and D is 750. Remember that. Okay, so there are two types. One is x axis, another one is y y. So based on that, we got the value. But here we'll follow this one only. Okay, now put the values of all here. So five W means load one twenty kilo ten to the power three unit play most important role. Remember that fifteen to the power four, right? Division three eighty four E is two hundred giga. Therefore, we have to multiply with ten to the power nine. Now we got this. Now I one by twelve. That means we can multiply twelve upper side. So by twelve B D B D cube. B is given in mm. Okay, just write. I will do what to. I will tell you what to do. Seven fifty cube. All right, seven fifty cube. We got that. Now what is the value we have to write here? That is these. Values are in mm. We have to convert into meter. So I have to multiply with 10 to the power minus 12 to get the value in meter. Got it? Now, but the answer we have to find out in mm. Remember that. We'll do. No problem at all. So after doing calculation, what we'll get? We have to see. Now look at this. Five multiple 120, multiple 10 to the power three, multiple 15 to the power four, multiple 12. Okay, no problem. Again, multiply with 10 to the power 12 because this will there only. Now divide 384 multiple 200 multiple 10 to the power 9 multiple 120 multiple 750 cube. So yeah, there is mathematical error. I think again mathematical error. So I have to look at where exactly we can make mistake, right? So the answer after doing this calculation, answer we are getting that is. 0.093. But remember, as I have already shared with you, the value we are getting that is in meter, right? The value, this value is in meter. So I have to convert this value into mm. So I have to multiply with 1000. So what is the value exactly? I am getting 93.75. 93.75. Now look at the options we are we have given. So This one, this one, not possible. Look at these options. Which one is closest to one? So the value we are getting that is ninety three ninety three point seven five, and here option A is the called closest to with closest one with the answer we got. So this is how we can solve numerical problems related to. Maximum deflection and maximum bending moment. So, for getting maximum bending moment, where where we can get maximum bending moment when shear force is zero. Remember that first concept. Second, in case of this deflection of beam, you need to remember formulas for finding out deflection, maximum deflection quite easily. Okay, I hope you got the total. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again in my next video total. Bye bye.